Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, and no matter how many guides you watch, there is still a limit to how much you can improve on a limited time. And there's some players that just have all the time in the world while you're struggling to get your games in week after week. That's why we've come up with 10 Valorant life hacks that will help you improve dramatically in the quickest possible time. So let's get right into it. Now, this hack that's really going to take your gameplay to the next level is silent drops. And did you know that there's a lot of places that you can drop with without making any noise at all or giving any indication that you're there. Silent drops can be used on any vertical rope and can be used to dramatically save time. Once you have it down, it's pretty good to use every single time you go down a rope. To perform a silent drop, hold shift to walk off the ledge. As you reach the bottom of the rope, you will tap interact to latch onto the rope and immediately jump off. Know that you have to hold shift the entire time or else you'll make noise, but this is why you see some pros and streamers zooming through these ropes when it feels like you're fumbling through, making way too much noise and you get to the top of the next rope and there's a judge just looking down on you and you feel rather silly. Now speaking of silent drops, there's also silent jumps. And this is one of the best life hacks on this list. It's gonna allow you to gather information without risking giving away your position. If it seems kind of broken, it's because it is. You can actually jump spot over many angles all while making zero sound at all. The only downside to a silent jump is that you won't go as high, but for something like a jump spot, it's actually an advantage to perform a silent jump all you have to do is crouch then jump once you are in the air let go of the crouch key now this is so important because oftentimes when you're tucked onto a point you don't know if the enemies are there but if you just jump normally or just peek it normally if the enemies were lurked up you'll ruin your element of surprise and then just die for free but that's no longer the case now you can actually do something similar to a silent jump inside certain doorways and ceilings by simply spamming jump and holding the shift at the same time Pretty sick right but not as sick as our new wall hacks course where it's going to basically tell you every single common position players like to play on every single map and how they look to reposition throughout those rounds so that you can essentially track players through walls i know it sounds complicated but we make it all simple to remember with a couple of easy tricks that our coaches have put together through their years of experience any one of you could be a game sense god all you need is the right tools which are available for you over at skill capped and if if you still don't believe us, we got a rank improvement guarantee, so if you don't climb, you don't pay. More on this at the end of the video. Now everyone yaps on and on about crosshair placement, but what if I told you there's actually maps that give you the perfect crosshair placement without you having to do anything at all? On every single map, you can notice lines or boxes that will help indicate perfect crosser placement. Normally, the correct crosser placement will be right under each indication. This is especially helpful in angles with elevation change and can be useful if you want to get a free lineup to a headshot. And one of the best ways to learn crosser placement without having to really put any time or brain power into it at all. Now, once you start noticing these, you're going to pick them up for every single map and you're going to get way more headshots and quickly start to get kills that you never would think possible and you don't have to do any setup or don't have to learn anything complicated you just put your crosshair exactly where these angles are on certain maps and you're set up perfectly to just start killing very very easily now this one is just a fun one to do with your friends but it can actually get you some free kills so that's a two for one special now all you're gonna need is have a sova and a yoru and you're gonna stick a sova dart on a yoru clone now this will not only really confuse your enemies but it's a really hilarious way to get a free kill because as the silver dart is on the drone it's going to be gathering information as the yoru is walking so you can clear corners that are over the shoulder of the yoru and if the enemies try to shoot the silver dart they're going to shoot the yoru clone and if they don't shoot the silver dart they're going to give up their position so they're really stuck between a rock and a hard place now the interesting trick here is that if you stick the dart on the clone's head the only way that they can break the dart is by shooting the clone and getting flashed so they really have have a no win situation but the fifth live hack in valorant is going to give you free information and it's actually really really strong if you know to do this so if you ever hear an enemy grabbing an ult orb you could actually hold tab and look at the enemy ult point counters you're going to be able to see exactly when an agent gains an ult point and that gives you just straight up free information knowing that there's a viper lurking there or a yoru or a reina can better allow you to understand where the enemy's team is and 
and where they're likely to be executing. Like, let's take this for example. You hear them grabbing an orb and you don't know who it is. In the dark, you might think that that could be a lurker or someone just rotating late. But if the time is ticking down and that's a brimstone that just grabbed that, then you know 100% that the enemy team is executing there. And that vital information can allow you to use pre-utility or even have your teammates rotate that much quicker and clutch up the round just based on that information alone. And the next life hack that you need to know is the four bursts on the classic pistol. And this is something that many people might know, but you need to make sure that you're actually utilizing it as much as you can because people simply don't do this nearly enough. Basically, all you have to do is left click with your primary fire and then instantly right click after. So you're throwing out four bullets in a small window of time. Now, this is a really powerful burst tech that allows you to use a pistol like a shorty in a lot of ways. And it's super, super strong. Make sure that you understand that you are going to be using more ammo than you normally will when you incorporate it. But it's typically worth it because getting those four bullets out there can be the difference between leaving someone at one HP and killing them outright. And the next life hack that you need to know is that you can actually Viper Molly perfectly from anywhere without knowing any lineups. This is really weird, but it's actually very useful. To perform this, all you have to do is look straight up in the sky and begin sprinting. Look at your mini map and you will see the sound circle around your character. The peak of the sound circle is the exact spot that your molly will land. Now granted, this isn't going to be 100% perfect right off the bat, but if you just try this a couple of times, you're going to be able to know exactly how to get your molly where your sound circle edge is. And you're gonna be able to replicate it every single freaking time. So if you're running, trying to rotate, help your team, they're getting rushed, you're gonna be able to very easily throw a molly that is gonna deny a plant, deny a push, help your team. And it's one of the most powerful tools that you could use on Viper to get very consistent with your mollies without ever needing to learn those freaking annoying lineups. The next up, we do got to talk about Phoenix's Molly, which is similar, but Phoenix's is actually even more versatile. Phoenix's Molly's, after a certain amount of time, drop straight down no matter what. To perform a perfect Phoenix Molly, all you have to do is sprint and once again, look at that sound circle. The peak of the circle is the exact spot the Molly will stop and fall straight down. Note that unlike Viper, you should not look straight up. You want to aim a little bit higher than head level to be the most accurate with the mini map and not straight up in the air so you're not quite looking as vertically now the next one that you really need to learn to use and abuse more is the jump boost and you can actually boost someone up or get boosted onto an otherwise unaccessible location now to boost someone up you line up in a straight line behind someone crouch and then walk into them to get boosted up you wait until your booster's in position and then you jump and once you're in the air you spam both crouch and jump and if your booster is sitting in the right spot you should be able to yoink up to the high ground very quickly. Now, this is a really great way to hold a off angle that the enemy team just doesn't expect, especially if you're a character that doesn't have mobility. Getting into a weird position as someone like a Killjoy, for instance, that would normally never be here is a great way to really throw your enemies off guard. Even great opponents will get tricked by this. Now, it's easier to pull off jump boosts on corners, but you could do them on any one block flat surface. It's just a bit harder. So wiggle around with it and I'm sure you'll get it perfect. Now, something that some people know, but surprisingly many people don't, is that the spike actually makes a slightly different noise if it's tapped from the halfway mark. The default spike diffuse noise sounds like this. But once the spike is halfway, the diffuse noise will sound slightly higher pitched like this. Now, I know it's really hard to tell, but once you start to learn to recognize the difference, you're going to win a lot of 1v1s throughout your Valorant career by knowing when they stuck that half or if they're making you think they stuck that half. Now, I hope you really learned something in this video that's going to help you on your journey to improve as quickly as possible in Valorant, but let us know in the comments down below if you have any other questions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.